So now let's see how we can do a partial rendering and a full rendering of our character in Photoshop. So over here you can see the character and if I were to rotate her around like that, I can rotate her around, uh, move her up and down and so forth. But what happens is that the view that you see right here is not full render. So this is like a temporary quality. You can see that the shadow does not look that great. The reflection is not very clean and you can see some jagged lines around the character. So in order to render everything all at once, just to see if it is okay or not, uh, will take a lot of time. So a lot of the time what you may want to do is render out a certain part of the character first to see if everything is okay. So in order to do that, you simply select the rectangular tool. Uh, that is the marquee tool right here. So let's see if the shadow is okay. So I'm just going to select around the shadow. And once you select around the shadow, you go on to the 3D menu and then click on render 3D layer. It'll only render out the area uh, within uh, this rectangular box that you selected. So it's still rendering as you can see, but if you want to stop it, you can just press escape and the rendering process will stop. And now we know that after it renders, this is uh, the way how it'll turn out. Let us see the character as well. So let me just click and drag this around. Let's say for example, just her face. So I'm going to go around onto 3D and I'm going to uh, resume the render right here. So once I do that, we know that this is how it will render out just like this. So we feel that this is a bit dark maybe so we can increase out the light. So I'm just going to press escape. So we know that in rendering it's a bit dark when it renders out. So I want to adjust the uh, render just like that. So I'm just going to go around into move settings and then I'm going to go to 3D maybe on the infinite light. I'm going to increase the intensity a bit, make her uh, uh, make it a bit bright right over here and then go on around and select her face again. Now let's see how it renders out. So I'm just going to go around onto 3D and render 3D layer. So let's see how that looks much more better. And now we know that it, it renders out a bit darker compared to what we see on uh, the now working area. So I'm just going to press escape again. I'm going to go around, increase out the uh, intensity a bit. So let me just go around to 160, which is a bit more. So I'm just going to go around again on to 3D and render 3D layer. So it just renders that out. So a bit brighter as you can see and the type of result we want. So, but still not uh, very good. So I'm just going to go around, buff it up into 200%, render 3D layer and Yes, so that's something that we want. So now, once you're happy with everything, you can render out everything. So I'm just going to press Control D to deselect. So once I render this out, it'll render out the entire scene. So I'm just going to move this around a bit, just like this. I want the character somewhere over here. I want to see the reflection and the shadows as well. So this is going to take some time. So I'm just going to fast forward after I render this out. So I'm going to go to 3D and I'm going to click on render 3D layer. So it'll start rendering every document because I have not selected anything out. So it is starting to render everything all at once now. So it does take some time. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. So almost the quality is improving as you can see. So it's almost midway and it has completed rendering and you can see the quality of the render. So if I were to go to layer and I'm just going to go around over here, you can see the render. So I'm just going to save this around. So I'm just going to export this quick export as PNG. I'm just going to save it out on my desktop, just like this, fuse character. And I'm just going to save that out. So let me just minimize this and open out right here. So this is in the image editor. So if I were to go over here, I can see the level of detail there is in the render. So you can see that it is much more smoother than the character that we now used to see in Photoshop itself. You see the shadows, you see the reflection right here. So this is like a bit of a blurred reflection. And this is how you can work around with it uh, with, the, um, with the rendered uh, character. So if I were to go over here just like this and change this around, you can immediately see the quality change on how it looks like. So we saved it out. So that's out of the way. Now you can really see the quality of the render 
in Photoshop. So that's how you do a partial and a full rendering inside of Photoshop for your Fuse characters. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.